Om Shanti. Today is Sunday, the 27th of August, 2023. On this Sunday morning, let us listen to the Avyakt Bhaktadas Murli, which was originally held on 16th of November, 1995. The essence of today's Avyakt Murli is, Bhav Dada's desire is that the year of the Diamond Jubilee be celebrated as the year of being free from attachment. Let's hear the Avyakt Bhav Dada's Murli which was originally held on 16th of November 1995 being repeated today on 27th August 2023. The essence of the same is Bhav Dada's desire is that the year of the Diamond Jubilee be celebrated as the year of being free from attachment. Om Shanti Today, Bab Dada has come to meet his loving and cooperative children who constantly have the remembrance of the father in their hearts. Who has Bab Dada come to meet? Bab Dada says he has come to meet his loving and cooperative children who constantly have the remembrance of the father in their hearts. The father has as much love for the children as the children have for the father. The father gives a lot of love to all the children equally, but the children imbibe that love according to their own capacity. So what is the difference here? Baba says, the father gives a lot of love to all the children equally, but the children imbibe that love according to their own capacity. This is why the father has to say, love and remembrance number wise. However, at Amrit Vela, the father gives number one love from his heart to all the children. This is why the special time of Amrit Vela is especially for the children because Amrit Vela is the beginning period of the whole day. These children whose hearts imbibe love from the father at the beginning of the day are not attracted by any other love because their hearts are filled with God's love. What is the reason? Baba mentions these children whose hearts imbibe love from the father at the beginning of the day are not attracted by any other love because their hearts are filled with God's love. Baba says, if according to your stage, you do not completely fill your heart with love, if your heart is even a little empty, if you have only imbibed a little love, then because there is still some space in your heart, you are attracted by the many forms of love from Maya, either in the form of other people or in the form of material comforts. Maya attracts you with that love in both forms. So which are the two forms that Maya attracts us with? Maya attracts us, Baba says, in many forms of love, either in the form of other people or in the form of material comforts. Many children ask Bab Dada, why does Maya still come to us? Since you have become master almighty authorities, there should be no question of Maya coming to you. However, the reason for this is that at Amrit Vela, the beginning period your hearts do not imbibe God's love to their full capacity. Baba says, at Amrit Vela, at the beginning period, your hearts do not imbibe God's love to their full capacity. If something is only half full and there is still some space in it, then there would definitely be some fluctuation. Baba says, you wake up at Amrit Vela, you sit for remembrance, you have that aim and you even say, that you belong to the one father and none other. Do you say this with your heart or with your lips? Baba asks us. So, then what is the reason why your heart is attracted elsewhere? Your love must definitely be pulled. Baba says your love must definitely be being pulled to other people or possessions. For this is why Maya pulls you. Your heart is not completely filled with God's love. Just think about it. If someone gives you a diamond in one hand and a ball of clay in the other hand, which one would you be attracted to? You would be attracted to the diamond 
not the clay. It is good to play with clay, is it not? So, what are waste thoughts? Are they diamonds or clay? Baba is asking us to decipher. You play with clay because you have developed that habit. What are other people? They are also made of clay, are they not? The clay merges with the clay. They may be beautiful to look at, perhaps because of their faces, their specialities or their virtues. And so you say, I don't have any other attachment. I don't have any love as such. But this virtue of that one is very good. Therefore, you are slightly influenced by their virtues. Or you say that that one has many specialities for doing service. And therefore, because of that speciality of service, you have a little love for that one. You may not say it in words, but when you constantly have this thought about any person or any material comfort, you feel, if this one or this thing were here, it would be very good. This is also attraction. So, what is Baba telling us about attraction? Baba says, you may not say it in words, but when you constantly have this thought about any person or any material comfort, you feel, if this one or this thing were here, it would be very good. This is also attraction. Who is the bestower of that person's speciality in doing service? Is it that person or does the father give it? Who gives it? Baba asks us. It is okay to say that the person is very good. But at the time when you see any speciality, virtue or service of theirs, do not forget the bestower. What is Baba telling us? Whenever we see any virtue in somebody, do not forget the bestower. Baba asks us to ask ourselves, who has given that person that speciality in doing service? Is it that person himself or is it the father? We need to ask ourselves. Baba says those people are also takers, not givers. Without belonging to the father, could they have developed that virtue or speciality for service? Can they develop it? Or did they bring that speciality with themselves from the path of ignorance? The speciality in doing godly service cannot exist on the path of ignorance. Let's hear that again. Baba says the speciality in doing godly service cannot exist on the path of ignorance. On the path of ignorance, they may have a speciality or virtue. But after coming into this knowledge, if they do not fill that virtue or speciality with knowledge, then that speciality or virtue cannot do as much service on the path of knowledge. Baba says even a natural virtue has to be filled with knowledge. Let's hear that again. Baba says on the path of ignorance they may have a speciality or virtue but after coming into this knowledge that is Gyan if they do not fill that virtue or speciality with knowledge then that speciality or virtue cannot do as much service on the path of knowledge. Even a natural virtue has to be filled with knowledge. So, who is it who fills it with knowledge? The father. So, who is it a gift from? Who is the bestower? So, do you like the one who takes or do you like the bestower? We need to ask ourselves. So, why do you chase after those who only take? Baba asks us. You speak very sweetly to the father or the dadis and you say, Dadi, I do not have any attachment at all, none at all, but because of this service, there is just a little. You say that you have only a little attachment and justify yourself in this way. However, no matter whether that attachment is to their virtue or their service, if not today, then tomorrow, where would that attachment lead you to? Some children are even pulled back to the old world by their attachments. But the majority of you do not go as far back as the old world. Only a few return there. For the majority of you, attachment takes you towards carelessness in your efforts. 
what is baba telling us for the majority of you attachment takes you towards carelessness in your efforts then you think well this happens a little all the time anyway you then start to justify yourselves to baba baba you do not exist in the corporeal form even brahma baba has become avyakt and you are just a dot a point of light we have such large corporeal bodies and we have to do everything with our bodies we have to move with bodies so we are corporeal whereas you are subtle and incorporeal and so we need someone in a corporeal form we may not need many people but we do need one person baba asks us do you need one person do you need one person do you not need one person those sitting at the back do you need one person just be careful bab dada is asking whether you need one person do you not need anyone everyone says we only need one baba of course you have the father but sometimes many things come into your minds and so your minds become heavy until you make your minds light you are unable to have yog so what do you do then even the father has a question what should you do when your mind is heavy and you are unable to have yog baba is asking us a question what should you do when your mind is heavy and you are unable to have yog what would doctor say if you do not vomit but you do feel nauseous if your stomach becomes heavy should you vomit and let it all out or should you keep it within you what would doctor say you should vomit it out should you not doctors also say that you should vomit it out acha baba says they are doctors of the body and all of you are doctors of the mind so the doctors of the body have given their replies now doctors of the mind speak if there is some confusion in your mind where should you vomit would you vomit in front of baba go and vomit it in baba's room go and vomit in baba's room just think about it would you vomit in front of the father if not then where would you vomit tell baba of a place where you can vomit bab dada takes the children's side and feels that at that time you definitely need someone so whom should we tell we should tell baba baba explains us one step further what should you do if the father does not listen to you many children complain that they told baba about something but that baba did not listen to them and didn't reply so what would you do then in fact if your hearts are full of god's love godly powers and godly knowledge if there isn't even a little space then there cannot be attachment or love for anyone else so in a nutshell what is baba saying do not leave your heart with some empty space for maya to come in baba says in fact if your hearts are full of god's love godly powers and godly knowledge if there isn't even a little space then there cannot be attachment or love for anyone else many of you say we do not have any attachment but we do like them so what would you call that you do not have any attachment but you like them so what is that should you be given so much freedom that you can like them without having any attachment baba asks us you can sit with them talk to them and enable them to do service you enjoy all of that should you be given that freedom those of you who think that you should be allowed a little freedom because you haven't become complete yet and are still making effort and that you should be given a little freedom raise your hands none of them raised it baba says you would not raise your hands now because you would be embarrassed but if you do feel that you should be allowed a little freedom you can write a letter and give that to dadi privately do not say that you want to speak to dadi for 5 minutes because time would be needed for that just write it on a piece of paper 
and bab dada will hold a gathering of those those meaning those who wrote the letters that we need a little uh, time and freedom that would be even better acha all of you are saying no and this is being recorded on video the video cassette that is being recorded of how you said no will be sent to you so why did you then do it again will baba have to send it to you or will you keep yourself safe baba asks us are you sure or are you a little unsure and a little sure earlier you were also told that this is the season to begin the diamond jubilee why because let us remember that this murli is being held in november 1995 so this is the diamond jubilee year of the establishment being in 1936 baba says therefore you have created many programs of conferences lectures and melas for this season however bab dada wishes to make one special program for this diamond jubilee so are you all ready for it bab dada wishes that whatever children he sees in the diamond jubilee whether the child is 2 years old or 60 years old or even 2 months old whether a teacher or a student whether surrendered or living in a household you all need to become free from attachment so what is bab dada's desire during the diamond jubilee every one of us whether a householder or surrendered or 60 years or even 2 months old we all need to become free from attachment baba says all of you together with the father have taken on the responsibility of purifying the elements with your purity in the year of the diamond jubilee is this your thought or does the father alone have to do all of this baba asks us are you companions of the father your hands are a little hesitant in this and you become clever in this way do not do this bab dada wants every child in the world to become free from any attachment to the facilities and other beings you must not have any attachment to the facilities either to use those facilities is one thing but to have attachment is something else let's hear that again baba says to use those facilities is one thing but to have attachment to them is something else so bab dada wants you to celebrate next year as being free from attachment he wants to hold this function will you become companions in this function bab dada asks us will you become his companions in this function you will not say later that this thing happened will you no matter what the reason is even if the himalayas fall would you move away from the side of the falling himalayas so do you have this much courage baba asks teachers you should speak first you students are feeling happy because bab dada is saying something to their teachers the teachers are always companions to give their cooperation as you make progress in today's world the foundation of purity of all these souls who called themselves religious souls great souls will shake a lot it was also at such a time at the beginning when brahma baba became an instrument that he was insulted why was he insulted it was because of purity let's hear that again baba says as you make progress in today's world the foundation of purity of all those souls who called themselves religious souls great souls will shake a lot it was also at such a time at the beginning when brahma baba became an instrument that he was insulted why was he insulted it was because of purity otherwise in the earlier life of brahma no one even someone senior in age had the courage to raise a finger at him such was his personality baba is telling us the virtues of brahma baba's personality he says in the earlier life of brahma meaning when he was not in gyan no one even someone senior in age did not have the courage to raise a finger at him such was his personality however because of purity he had to take insults the newness of this godly knowledge is purity so what is the foundation 
Baba says the newness of this godly knowledge is purity. You say with so much intoxication that even though cotton wool is living with fire, it cannot catch fire. You issue this challenge. Those who are couples, raise your hands. So, are all of you couples issuing this challenge? Or will there be a small fire and then you will extinguish it? You are challenging the world, are you not? You tell the whole world in your lectures that without purity, one cannot become a yogi or a jnani soul. This is your challenge, is it not? So, what do we tell the world? That without purity, one cannot become a jnani or a yogi soul. Now Baba is addressing those couples. Baba says, those couples who feel that they can issue a challenge in this way, raise your hands. It is good. There are many companions in the one group. So, what will you do in the Diamond Jubilee? Become free from attachment. You have already had the year for becoming free from anger. Bab Dada saw many who had a little anger. However, this time he has allowed you to get away with a little of it. To all those who paid attention, whether from this land or abroad, Bab Dada gives even more than multi-million fold congratulations to those who experienced their lives to be completely free from anger. Baba says the telephones of the intellects of those from this land and those from abroad are connected to Madhuban. What are connected to Madhuban? Baba says the telephones of the intellects of those from this land and those from abroad are connected to Madhuban. All of you have a connection with Madhuban. And those of you who had this determination must have experienced receiving extra special help from Bab Dada. Now, do not think that because you have finished being free from anger for a year, you are now free. No. When you experience yourself to be completely free from attachment, you will automatically become free from anger. Why? Why do you get angry? If you are unable to fulfill whatever desire you have or you are unable to attain whatever you want, you then get angry. The reason for anger is that whenever your thoughts, whether they are right or wrong, are not fulfilled, you get angry. For instance, you may want to take part in a conference or function that is happening and you feel, after all, when would I get a chance to do this again? You have a desire and you even give a signal for that. But if you are not given that chance, do you then get irritated or not? Okay, you may not have had gross anger for anyone, but would you not have had waste thoughts about whoever refused you? So, Baba is asking us pointed questions. So, therefore Baba says, so that is not purity. You are allowed to offer yourself to give your ideas, but then having offered your ideas, do not change those ideas into your own desires. Let's hear that wonderful sentence again. Baba says, you are offered, you are allowed to offer yourself and give your ideas but then, having offered your ideas, do not change those ideas into your own desires. When your thoughts take the form of desires, you become irritated. Or you still show anger through your words. Or you even use your hands and feet. That is a very gross form of anger. However, give your ideas without any selfish motive. Do not have any selfish motive and think that because you had said it, it should happen. Do not think in that way. You may offer something that is not wrong, but don't go into the why or what etc. Otherwise, all of its companions of jealousy and hatred will also follow. Therefore, if you have made the discipline of purity firm, if you have become free from attachment, you won't then have any attachment about what should happen. Let it not be this should happen. If you offer something without any selfish motive, that will quickly reach others. If you offer something with a selfish motive or out of jealousy, that would create further anger. What will the teachers do? 100% free from attachment. Speak. Yes or no? 
foreigners say hanji baba says you mustn't celebrate the diamond jubilee just like that you have to show some newness in the diamond jubilee so that the eyes of the government open and they wonder what is this they should not be able to say no to anything instead they should offer themselves it should be just as when the mahamandaleshwar came here what did he offer that the brahma kumars and kumaris should run his ashram he asked for this didn't he so all of their departments should propose that only you run their departments to be able to make this practical is the diamond jubilee so what is baba asking us all the government department should propose that only you should run their departments to be able to make this practical is the diamond jubilee however do you remember your first promise what did you wish to become everyone says free from attachment only then can all of this happen what is all of this meaning only when we are free from attachment will others agree to get their departments run through us if you continue to beat your children how would your children become good if you continue to become weak among yourselves how would the mahatmas bow down at your feet the stronger you make the pillar of purity the more this pillar will work like a lighthouse acha to the long lost and now found elevated souls in all directions who are merged in the father's heart to those who surrender every desire of theirs and of others by constantly obeying every order of the father to those who constantly make their pillar of purity strong to the special souls who spread the light of purity by being lighthouses to those who make themselves free from attachment and thereby come close to the father and to those who remain close to the father to such children love remembrance and namaste from bap dada and we the spiritual children also say namaste to our spiritual father to the children living abroad everywhere to all the children everywhere special love and remembrance from bap dada because all of you always send your letters of love and remembrance special remembrance to those who have sent letters and special love and remembrance to those who have sent their love and remembrance from their hearts today's blessing may you be a victorious jewel whose intellect has faith and thereby stays unshakable even in any upheaval let's hear the blessing once again baba says may you be a victorious jewel whose intellect has faith and thereby stays unshakable even in any upheaval baba explains faith and victory are very firm companions of one another which to faith and victory where there is faith there is definitely victory because you have the faith that the father is the almighty authority and that you are master almighty authorities so where else can victory go those whose intellect has such faith can never be defeated when the foundation of faith is strong no storm can shake it to be unshakable even amidst some upheaval is known as being a victorious jewel whose intellect has faith however it is not just faith in the father but let there also be faith in yourself and in the drama finally the slogan for today a flying bird is one who stays free from all bodily relations and makes effort to become an angel slogan once again a flying bird is one who stays free from all bodily relations and makes effort to become an angel acha om shanti